Hi everyone, and welcome to Power Plays. I'm Harry, and today we're going to be getting that third star on Smogly. We're going to be continuing our journey on Two Point Hospital, getting all the stars in all the hospitals. So, we have to, for that third star, train 30 staff, cure 50 patients in surgery, get a cure rate of 90%, and get that hospital level up to 16. So we're already at 12. So we haven't got too far to go. Actually, nearly on 13 if you look down in the bottom right. You can see we have four surgeries already set up, ready to go. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be able to we're gonna be able to train quite a lot of staff. That's not gonna be our problem here. What our problem is gonna be is that cure rate. That's gonna be tough. But we'll get there. So first things first. Let's have a look at who we can train. We got a lot of surgeons. So hang on, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight surgeons for one, two, three, four. Yeah, so we can we can rotate. We probably build another surgery and not be put out too much. And for treatment nurses, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven treatment nurses, four rooms. Yeah, that'll be fine. But we've also got the chromotherapy as well, so it's going to be five rooms. And we need to build the pest control room yet, and the pans lab. So we've got a bit to go. Let's just have a look at them. We don't need a clan cleric. I don't know why I've got that highlighted. But we do need a, another treatment nurse to go in the injection room. So we could convert essentially this nurse, treatment nurse here, train them in the injection room. So that'll be fine. Um, we could also, in fairness, just let any nurse be in the injection, any of these treatment nurses be in there. Um, no issue there. Oh, we got another doctor. Do we need a treatment doctor? We got one, two, three treatment doctors for the head office, and we need one for the and for the pans lab. Three, yeah, that's not going to be an issue there. We're happy with three. So I'm actually going to hire a yet another surgeon, and do not let me hire any more surgeons. I beg of you. No, 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 no. And let's get this going. What challenges have we got at the moment? Cure 20 patients. Oh, we're not going to do that. We haven't got the time now. Yeah, curate. That curate dropped because I uh, sent a couple of people home. No issue there. Oh, yeah, and you can see. Oh, let's, let's upgrade that. You can see we definitely need to get another nurse in here. So hopefully, we'll get another treatment nurse here or an injection nurse. That would be great. Either way. I'll take them. Nope. And what have we got here for the doctors? No as well. That's okay. So we're going to get that surgery trained. And then I, I'm i going to take one of these nurses and just turn them into a... Sorry. That nurse. And just turn them into a treatment nurse. Um, sorry, into an injection treatment nurse. But we do need to just keep an eye out on the number of treatment nurses we've got because we've got a lot of rooms here. So what I am going to do, if I remember where our marketing room is, I am going to do a nurse's campaign. And let's do it for six months. What that's going to do is that's going to bump up the speed once we drop the assistant in there. It's going to bump up the speed that our nurse is going to come in So for hire. So hopefully then we can get a good one. And we can solve our... See, there, already. we got a good one there. Weak blood alone nasty. So ideally I don't want them, but let's see. Let's see what we get in 12 days. Otherwise, maybe we'll have to hire them. 400 grand is going to be quite hard to get, but we'll see if we can get there. A few surgery patients cured. And we've got a decent amount of money now. Sally Fake Blanket. Alright, let's see what we get. Everyone's just dying. Oh, that cure rate of 90% is going to be a tough one. Alright. You're in. Uh, but I don't want them in the injection room. Ooh. 
I do want them though. For the chromotherapy, pest control, and surgery. So let's flick that one over. And it's probably about time that we build a pest control. So we still need to build a pans lab and the, the pest control room. So what, a four by four? Can't push that out one more because that space won't be enough. Yeah, there won't be enough space. Hmm. I could just build it here. Why not? Four by four. It's the perfect sizing. So let's stick this as close to the door as possible. Gonna stick a fire extinguisher just there. Get a radiator down and let's bang out these gold stars. And that should as well get our hospital up to level 13. There we go. I'm just going to pause it because I'm actually going to close this room to begin with for now. Because what I want to do is I want to do all the upgrades on it first. So I'll wait till he's finished that upgrade, but then he's going to be upgrading that other machine. Let's just drop them in there and we do have that nurse here. Ooh, they're already in surgery. Oh well. I'm going to get them trained right away. You see, it's pretty quiet on the surgery front, actually. Turtle I'll take that for turtle head patients. And what eventually what I'll do is I'll um, do a marketing campaign on the surgeries. So then it will definitely be get very very busy Are you can hurry up and fix that and we need a pans lab as well so let's go ahead and build that just there i'm gonna put the door facing this way just so the queue isn't right next to each other that down there, fire extinguisher there, a radiator against the wall. We'll get a few more gold stars out. Bay Towers and Pelican Wharf. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to close this room for now because I want that machine upgraded. Let's see, our mechanic is going to be busy. That's fully upgraded. That needs upgrading. Uh, not upgrading, that needs maintaining. That's good. And yeah, we've got our emergency over there. That'll tick on nicely. I'm going to get that patient to wait. And what I'm going to do is pick up the janitor and just put them in this room instead. And let's just copy these toilets, make sure that we've got some toilets in here, and I'm also going to make sure that we've got a staff room as well. Did that just in time to get ready for the awards. So what have we got? Just for again, not really getting the hospital of the year or the rising stars anymore. That's all right. We're making our way to three stars. That's all that matters. We've got quite a few more patients left to cure in surgery, but we're making a dent in it. Completely forgot about the training though. And I've got a surgeon at the GP. Not good. So let's get that fixed. Bad surgeon. GP, GP so GPs only. You work in the surgery. GPs. I mean, we still, we're still running off through GPs for two officers, so probably if we didn't need to send them home, we'll probably get this one and train them to be a GP. So you're fine. All right, 
We've got three potential nurses there. Let's have a look. For treatment nurses, I'm gonna forget the injection room for now because we're sorted on that. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven nurses for one, two, three, four rooms here, five, six. So we definitely need more. Um, we wanna look for anything around 10 to 12. So we've got seven now and this is going to make us nicely at 10. Although that one's unmotivated and boring. So I, I'm not going to hire them. I'm not going to hire them. But hopefully we shall get another one coming in fairly quickly. We do have that um, marketing campaign on. And then as soon as this training's done, we can stick them in the old training room, get them trained up. The I'll accept the surgery patients. There's only four of them. So Close. one per room, no go. problem. I'll listen to my show from the day before to focus my craft. And let's I open up this room. Now we've got it my own at least for one level and filing the remains. done. I find it's important to have your own Get that process. one on the ultrasound, um, the cannon, ultrasonic cannon, not the ultrasound. Oh, we got two emergencies going at the same time. Uh, we got a few things going at the same time. So total head patients, we cured four out of seven. Haven't really gone through them at a speed. Will we get this one done in time? Nope. And we killed them anyway. So good job. No. Surgical patients, we just got them. Oh, it was six of them. So let's just make sure we've got... Yeah, you're near the front of your queue. There's only two there. And we just got no one in that room, so we're fine. Where are the other two then? The other two must be here and being treated. All right, so we got that emergency. I don't want to say under control because we haven't cured anyone yet, but we're on the way. They're being... Oof. Damn. They got flung. Five patients in surgery again. I'm going to say no, we can't have two emergencies in the same place at the same time. That's that's not going to go well. And we have another nurse, exactly what we wanted. So let's get that treatment training in. Oh, no, I, d I don't want this one. Let's take them out. I want... Ah, I need to train him to be a GP. There we go. So we've got that training on the way. So that'll get us up. And really, we're going to play the waiting game. How long does it take us to... A 50 patients in surgery. 50 patients in surgery, that's all we gotta do. And we're already 13 through. Look at us go. Get off your break, get fixing that. Some patient for treatment. See if we got another nurse coming in soon. Let's find how we doing over here. Oh, someone's going to be done in two days. I mean, we've got a cure rate up. Too bad we can't freeze it at like this moment in time. Um, let's get that doctor trained. Get them trained to be a GP. Then I don't need to worry about GPs. I'm Not that I needed to worry about GPs anyway, but yeah, then we don't need to worry about it at all. See how the surgery's doing. We've got three more patients. I can see I can see all of them actually. Yeah, you're all due next. Mayor Tabby Thup. Windsock. Yeah, we've we're never gonna get the no deaths with surgery knocking around. Hat off if you do. Spend some time amongst the root vegetables. Right, you're absolutely smashing it. So, 
Everyone should make some time to be 15 done. Fit. We're getting there. We're making good progress. Let's see if we can get at least... Yeah, we'll get at least two of these um, treated. I'm not necessarily saying cured, but we'll get two of them treated. Yeah, we've got one of them done. We should be able to get the other two done. Let's see. That training's nearly done. So let's see who we're going to go for next. We've got a surgeon. Let's get that surgeon. I haven't trained my psychiatry psychiatrists in ages. They must be, yeah, no, they're not actually. It's near this. Ah, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, no. This one's nearly ready to level up. Oh, and so is this one. So I'd need to train them soon, otherwise they won't level up again. We got one more to cure for our surgery. We've done pretty well on that one. Cured four. Failed on one. Ah, it's not in yet. Hopefully this won't take too long. We, I don't think we're going to be able to nick this one in time. But we'll pass the emergency. So that's, that's the important thing. We'll pass the emergency and hopefully we'll get another patient cured. Just might not be in time for the emergency. Got the alarm clock. We got the rubber duck yet? There's the rubber duck. Stitch them up. Three, two, one. Oh. oh, that was so close. We were seconds away there. Uh, yeah, I'll take the injection room one. And yeah, we, we did well there. And we cured 20 already. So we're really getting through those surgery patients. So it's good job we got those four surgery rooms. It's helping us rattle right through it. And I'm going to train my psychiatrist. I'll need to train the other at some point. I'll wait till this one's nearly done training and then I'll drop the other one in. Our assistant's decided to go on a break and no one's reappeared. And we're going to have to start thinking about another GP's office soon because we're going to get to. Oh, we've got three, four so far, so we're going to need another GP. We're. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I will take you, so therefore I don't need you. So yeah, we're going to need another GP um, just to handle that extra GP room. No, there we go. We're definitely going to have more than enough um, nurses to handle that now. We've got this being upgraded. This has been upgraded. Ah, so we're perfect there. I don't mind sending that one home. And they're nearly done. So I'm just going to drop them in. Should be done now. Yeah, there you go. So he can go off now and service the other room. Oh, we need a nurse in the injection room. Ah, oh, one's already gone in, so that's fine. Chot, we're making a lot more progress, or quicker progress on the surgery than I thought we would. Now we can just kind of leave things how they are now. We don't need to run another marketing campaign on it, which I am glad. You can see we've got quite a lot of spaces here to get some treatment training done. As I said, it, I'm not really too fussed about training the nurses in treatment because the ones in the surgery, um, it doesn't impact the likely or the cure rate of the surgery itself. So just always remember that. It don't matter. Even if you have the wellest trained treatment treatment one two three four five it doesn't matter if the surgeon's rubbish then the surgery is not going to go well that's just how it is folks so we got our extractor pan leveled up nicely that training done wards nice there oh bit of a cue for our psychiatry yeah, a bit of a cue there. Um, next room I want to build is going to be a GP's office. 
but we're going to need another GP for that. And I think I'm just going just gonna to put the GP's office just here. Five out of five patients in the injection room. Nice. We'll take that. And see, it's it's a bit quiet in the surgery, so I probably could do a marketing campaign just to push that through. Um, but I just want to wait for now because our hospital level is going to go up. And the hospital is going to start to get just that tad bit busy. So you can see it's already starting to get quite a few patients there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a place to build another GP's office. So I'm going to move this. Sorry, guys. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see the problems we're getting here. So let's just pause it. We do not need the training room taking up this prime real estate in our main wing. Oh wow, do you know what? Let's build, let's buy another room, uh, another building. I'm gonna go for this cheap one for now. Uh, let me just get that built. Let's wait the 16 days. 12 days, 11 days. Just wait that and then I'm gonna fill this out. So what I'll do is I will move the marketing room over here, the training room over here as well. Um, I'm gonna move that fracture clinic in the corner. Um, I'm probably gonna move the ward as well. I can move, fit the ward in here. So we'll have our two wards here. So all our ward, ward north, blah, 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 blah. Ward nurses can go here in that staff room, so it's not going to be fine. And I can put some more GP offices there. So you can see now we've got that building, our level's gone up, so it's going to get a bit busier. So we've got to do this quickly. And then I can build another psychiatry as well. So, should be built. Yeah. So let's just do that right away. So let's stick that there. Let's go that in what was invalid why was the desk invalid definitely shouldn't have been invalid oh there it is it's back so we can move this into the corner here all right let's have a little think how we're going to play things around. Play a bit of Tetris here. It's not going to fit. What will fit though? So let's have a look. What will fit there? So the chromotherapy skinny, that's going to fit there. We put it just here. That's going to fit nicely. We've got an injection room. Let's just, let's just stick that there for now. We are going to move it in a second. I'm just going to have to start playing the jigsaw game, moving things around. We've got that there. Stick another toilet in here. Just, oh no, it won't fit anyway. Oh well. There was a bit of a gap there. Now I want to move my ward. And that fits just nicely there. Perfect. Now we've got two doors facing each other, which isn't ideal. So what I might do actually just edit this room. I will put the door there. There we go. And then put the gold star back over here so we can get that five prestige room. All right, that's all fit in a bit nicely now. So what I can do is I can move this. Ooh, not the sofa. Stick this over here. I can copy this GP's room. Stick it. I would stick it there. Ah, I am gonna stick it there. I'm just going to have to move things around. So, essentially all I'm doing is flipping the room. 
So that's going to go there. We need the filing cabinet. Edge that up. There we go. There we go. There we go. And one more thing the radio. Still not level. There we go. Now we're level five. So now we've got another two P's off. It's just there. So that's going to fit nicely. So I am going to want to build another uh, psychiatry, but we've only got two psychiatrists at the moment, so it could do with another. Must not hire any more nurses. <laughs> so let's let's put a psychiatrist campaign on. Get that going. Let's get some training done. So let's get this surgeon trained. Surgery level two. We got a ton of cash as well. So much money. And yeah, let's let's build another for now. And we've literally just booted everyone out of everywhere. Uh, so let's give them a bit of time to figure out where they are and what they're supposed to be doing. No, unhygienic, definitely not. Alright, we've sorted everything out now. Let's move this into the Oh, I can't move that into the corner because of the door. Let's just fix that. Let's take that off. Stick. Oh, this is going to be a pain. Let's get rid of the arcade machine. Move the door over here. Flip that around. Perfect. Where's the fire extinguisher? Fire extinguisher is in that corner, so I'm just going to move it over here just so it's closer. We've still got a radiator, no problem. We do need a gold star, which is now going to go there and there. No problem at all, and we lost a arcade machine, so let's just stick that in there. Not that we need it, but why not? And 200k, that's going to be no problem. And how are we doing on that surgery emergency? 40 days, two more to do, and we can see them just there. No problem, hopefully. Awards starting to get a bit busy, so we may want to consider expanding that. So you can see this hospital, there's quite a lot of tight spaces, and you can see, like, ideally, that corridor is a bit tight, and I wouldn't want it. So what I might do... What I might do, actually... Let's just pause things. Let's, let's just put those there. We can fit that in here and then let's see if I want to move. I might just sell the toilets they can fit there though there we go and the toilets fit nicely there so now we've got that two two space corridor so we're all good there and this ward is going to just appear a bit busy to begin with um, just because we kicked out loads of patients and now they need to be sorted, put back into the beds, etc, etc. So just give it a bit of time and that's going to come down to normal in no time. We've still not done those surgery patients yet. That's in the emergency. I'm assuming one of them's there. The other one's just going in now, so might be able to get it in time. I'll take another emergency in the surgery. No problem whatsoever, because that other one's just about finished. There we go. Now now we're getting back into it. Six awards. I will take that all day long. Oh, oh so we're two, we're two and two, so this one's crucial. But I don't think we're going to get it done in time. But we got... Let's have a look. We're trained 13 out of 30. We're 30 out of 50 there. Hospital level's getting along quite nicely. And do you know what? Our curate's not bad. Like, we're in a decent position with our curate. 
So yeah, we didn't do that emergency. But we are... Oh, let's wait for him to be done. Oh, do you know what? I'll just start. <laughs> Perilous Spandex. Five. There you go. We'll get them trained. Our psychiatry one isn't doing too well. Our psychiatry marketing campaign. You get me psychiatrist, but not pure psychiatrist. You know that's what I want. Where is everyone? No one's working in the GP's office. Alright. I just want a psychiatrist. I just want. I take a no-skill doctor or one-skill psychiatrist doctor. Come on. Nope. Boo. Alright, let's make sure that our VIPs are at the top of the list. Sorry. You're being bumped down. Really get someone in that one. Oh, come on. Why isn't the patient going in? Oh, it's because that one's already queuing. Let's have a look if we've got any surgeons just chilling. Yeah, let's get this. Let's get, let's get a surgeon in there. And let's get a. We've got any nurse in here. There we go. Let's get that one up and running. And hopefully some of the patients will move into there. We're all good over here. We've got this one going in surgery like a psychiatrist come on psychiatrist no nope. nasty and unmotivated i would have i really would have taken them otherwise because i am that desperate oh no no don't teach don't teach don't teach don't teach i want you to learn not to teach learn there we go Get you in there. So actually, we're, we're lagging a bit on the old training front. We might even get to our surgery, cure 50 surgery patients before we finish the training. Let's see. How are we doing on this emergency? Two to go. They're waiting in the queue. Yeah. One more to do, and that's that one. Hey, we might even be able to get four for four here. Now, I would like an assistant go to marketing because that psychiatrist campaign you did was a rubbish. So I'm going to drop you in here, get you nice and ready. And now let's drop you in. Oh, killed someone. Brilliant. I joke, obviously. Let's hire the surgeon, why not? What I might do is... Um, I, I might start thinning it on the surgeons. Um, but for now, I'm happy just taking the extra ones. Anything that's going to help get my, um, uh, what's I called it, level up, my cure rate up. Doctor to head office. Yeah. It's important to me to feel like I've got my finger on How's the pulse of Two Point County. Going. So after work, I'll head it's still not been seen. I'll absorb the culture. Uh, I de you definitely need to keep an eye on these sometimes. Make sure these emergency patients are getting seen in time. Because there are some emergencies out there that the patients will automatically die at the end of the, the time frame. So you do need to keep an eye out on that. Because you do not want to get caught by that. So we're halfway through the training staff criteria. We've done 35 out of 50 surgery patients 36 cure rates decent it's nearly 90 percent so we should be able to get there um we're definitely not going to cure 40 patients in that time well we should be able to get um get to the 90 percent mark i'm feeling pretty good about that 
especially when we're getting level three surgeons. That's going to help us out a lot. Need to be careful not to neglect these other staff as well, because they still definitely need training. So I need to need to have a look at training some of these nurses. Um, yeah, as well as probably some of the psychiatrists. We still need another psychiatrist. Eventually. But they'll eventually come. Yeah, I'll take the six patients. Uh, I'm starting to get a bit, bit busy on the old um, reception. It's a bit of a cue. Yeah, I definitely would like another GP as well. Look at all these, all these janitors we could do with. Wow, 41 patients cured in surgery now. And look, we're 22 days in and the surgery patients have just come now. It's, it just makes it so hard sometimes to do it if you don't have the surgery close or the if you don't have the room close to the um, helipad or where they come, it takes them a while to get in, you put yourself at such a disadvantage. So you should uh, more likely probably move your surgeries to like over this area. So you can see there's no actual helipad. Oh, no. Damn, the helipad's all the way over there. So that's where they're coming from. They're coming from there all the way down, down. I've actually got these in the worst place. So what might be a good idea is to by this plot here and move all our surgeries to over there. Build a toilets in there and build a staff room in there as well because we want to make sure that we have the facilities required, especially the staff room because we want our, um, we don't want our doctors and nurses far away. So I'm going to start training some of these nurses because we don't want we don't want to not hit that um, cure rate because of things happening in the ward. That'd be very annoying. But I mean, look, we're at 95% now, so we're not doing too bad. So you can see, yeah, that's where the helipad's coming in. So that's where our VIP is going to come in as well. So you could argue that we might want to even put our training room just in this corner here. So. I'm not going to move it just yet. Not just yet, because we have an emergency going on. So I don't want to disrupt things just yet. But you can see we've got enough room. We could put surgery there. Might be able to put one there. Nah. Well, well at least we'll be able to put... Well, we could just do one, you know, two, three there, and then move a fourth there. So we, we've got plenty of space. We can put a nice little staff room here. And we can take this toilet, copy it. Probably could have taken the toilet just here instead. And yeah, we've got that that going there. And once the once the emergency's done, then I'm going to move these rooms, stick them in the other area instead. How's the training going? Our VIPs slowly making it there. So yeah, probably definitely worth sticking the training room. It'll fit just here. Oh, we're really close to getting that 50 patients in surgery. Really close. We're going to have 20 staff trained soon, and I mean, we're doing well on the cure rate. I know, I know the cure rate is going to go up and down, it's going to change, but the fact that we can get to 90 and 95% is a, is a good sign. It means we don't have to make too many adjustments um, to be able to really boost it up. So you can see we've got those 20 trained. Are they all trained at the same? Now they all have the same speed. So let's move this room now. Yeah, I'm just going to move it here. There we go. Just so it's quicker for the VIP to get there. So, 
Ooh, we have quite a few spaces. That'll do for now. How are we doing? Two left to do. Congratulations, Annabelle Toff. Oh, you've died, that's not great. Let's just have a look. This one's, I know it's not empty empty, but because there's someone queuing for it, but I'm just gonna move it now just to get this started. So yeah, we can fit two here, and then what I'll do, actually, hmm, fit this this way instead, because I'll be able to fit two there, a third there, and I'm going to need to just move things around to get the, the last one in. So let's just move this one while we're waiting. There we go. Hmm, how are we gonna? I'm sure I'm not too fussed about the corridor issue here. See, look, our VIP got there quicker than the staff, so I probably should have just dropped them in there instead. Let's move the staff room as well. Stick it in here. So now we've got more space to essentially um, put more surgeries in. So we've got one more for the surgery. Uh, I'm going to move this now. Hopefully, the patients should start migrating over here instead. Where's the door? Door's there. Let's stick it here. And then yeah, we've got one more to put in. Which is here. And now we've got lots of space in this room as well. As soon as this one's done, oh, we're not gonna get that last emergency patient done in time, are we? Let's give it a go. We're not. It's, it's too soon, but yeah, we've got 15 days. It's not even on the on the operating table yet. But yeah, you can see we're one more patient away from being cured in surgery to being done. <laughs> Curate's bombed at the moment, and we're doing well in the training. Do we have a? Is the training done? Train's nearly done. So I'm just going to drop some more in there. If I have the slots. And yeah, didn't think we'd have the time. But I am going to just going to wait for this patient to get changed, and then I'm going to move them. And let's have a look at that. Walter Galaxy can't get to where they want to do because their route is blocked. So let's go find Walter Galaxy and just see where we've built things. Just a bit, a bit skewy. Mm. So I'm going to want to. Do you know what? I'm going to sell that room for now. Stop editing. Just sell it for now. No, pause. Not fast forward. Let's pick this up. And let's let's find a way. Let's let's play some Tetris here. I think I've made them just a tad bit too big. can do so I can move that facing that way instead rather than me going to get the other room 
And I see those, that door's blocked. So I need that gap. So you can see they can't all get to it. What I can do is I can put it here. Now that corridor is going to be a bit on the thin side, which isn't ideal. So it's either that corridor is going to be a bit too thin. No, it's either both of them or just the one for two tiles. So I'm going to, I'm going to do it that way. And I can live with the one being too thin. And then I'm going to sell this room. So sorry, everyone who was waiting to get cured there. Let's just move these. All right, and 400K, we'd do that. All right, there we go. Let's just put some radiators down because this room is gonna be nippy. It is gonna be very cold. There we go. And what have we, we've got that training done. So we've got five more staff to train. So let's see what, oh, do you know what? I haven't even thought about those psychiatrists yet for a while. There we go. They're gonna be a psychiatrist. I've just like, like during this level, I just completely ignore like, like these, these, this area kind of runs itself. You know, those GP rooms are spot on. We've got the two psychiatrists here. Yeah, it's kind of runs itself. It's more the surgeries that I worry about. So get our snacks machines on, get a bin there. And yeah, I'm not gonna, have space for anything else. Okay, get him on psychiatry. So we've got our psychiatry problem, psychiatrist problem solved. And let's see what training we're going to do next. We've got a surgeon to train. Oh, I set him to teach. Do I set him to teach? No, to train. Let's get them trained. And what we can see now is the experts should be coming in. Yeah, look how quick they come in now. Straight there. The real test is when we get another emergency in. That'll be the real test. A two point radio. It's the Harrison Wolf show on two point Let's see what awards now. we got. But don't worry. I'm just here to change mm -hmm. the music every few minutes. Whoop. Back to four. Up and down. Oh god. It'd be great just to be able to have to form everything just stay how it is and just have four more staff trained. Now that we've kind of got another building, probably do with another janitor. So let's just buy another one. I'll train them in in um what's it called at some point in ghost capture so you can see that in really quickly and now that the training is pretty much done so that is always beneficial just to get it nice and close to the helipad so let's keep them there and let's get these two trained as well who have we got complaining annabelle toff Let's review the pay. Not done that in a while. Let's get that funds up. There we go. All right, so we have two emergencies. Turtle head, fine. Surgery, fine. I should really move the turtle head over here, but we, I don't have the space at all. So, sorry, turtle head's going to go all the way around to over there. No, oh, surprising, we decided to say. But your surgery one, so we were getting them at 22, and now we're getting them at 10. That's a big improvement. So let's just pause it a sec. 
make sure that our emergency patients are top of the queue. Can't even remember where the doors are for some of these rooms we've got. Alright, let's give this a go. whole class or just no so that's going to get us to our um, training there so let's just Ooh, can't build that I'm going to buy this might as well just get that next plot in great that our doctor isn't in the room what I might do actually is I'm going to move the head off. It's just to here, just so it's a bit closer. In fact, that's a four by four. Might be able to fit it there instead. Sorry, I know you literally just got in this room, but I'm picking it up. Just putting it down there. Don't you worry. We've got our training done. We have our surgery patients done. Ooh, we've got lots and lots of lots of staff that need training. Let's get this this guy trained. I've I feel like I've neglected them for a while now. Yeah, I, I don't think the turtle head's gonna go too well. But let's see if we can smash out the surgery at least. I wonder if what was it was it Gabrielle? Ah oh, no, Walter Galaxy. Did they ever get to where they wanted to go? I assume so. Dun, 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 dun. So look, it's al already saw this. It's so much better having the um, the room close to the VIP section. Ah. Promoted to someone promoted to a senior janitor. Good on them. This guy here, and I think the second we finish this training, like they're going to get promoted. Just because we've left it a bit it. long, so they've got yeah, so they've got promoted. So what I can do is I can take advantage of the trainer still being there and get both of them trained again in the next level of maintenance. So look, you can see we're absolutely smashing the time on the surgical uh, patients, not so much on the turtle herd. So yeah, we could five out of five. It's pretty good. Pretty good indeed. So we got a curate up. So, so now we've got a couple of options, right? We need to get to level 16, and we've got everything ready. So what we can do is essentially just start building a few rooms in here just to bump the hospital value up. That'll then get you there the quickest. But be careful if you're going to do that option and you're gonna continue playing um, which I know not many people do, but if you are going to continue playing, then you just need to consider that the hostel level is going to have skyrocketed and you don't have all the facilities to be able to manage that. So what we can do is we can just copy this GP room. And we can stick it there. And we can copy it again, stick it there, and you can see we shouldn't have to do this too many times because we're very, very close to getting to level 16. Or, if you want, you can do this in a more organic way. You can um, you could build some more treatment rooms, um, you could build another head office just to make sure that you can handle that seven person emergency if you wanted. Um, you could build some more surgeries if you really i mean this is supposed to be a surgery hospital so if you really wanted to build another one and just have like five six seven eight it's completely your call i'm gonna do this just to make it quick and easy and for you guys um you don't need to watch me to slowly slowly build up when you've already been doing that so far to get to the stage in the first place so 
we got our third and final star. Congratulations, your hospital was awarded a three star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. Whoop. Smugly, as we know, it's a dire place in dire need of a feature to alert the cartographers to its existence. Your excellent hospital may well be this feature. We're putting them on the map. People would come from miles around to see it. If anyone could see through the opaque guff that smoke the smugly has in place of the air. Yeah, it doesn't look great, does it? So, yeah, we have got all three sides. I'm just going to sell these just to bring the hostel level back down. Not quite sure why, but just in case I ever do want to come back to this hospital and just have a play around. Which is unlikely, but doing it now. So, if you found this, um, this video helpful um, and you've been using my guides do let me know um, let me know down in the comments section make sure to hit the like button on all the videos it makes me really happy when i see loads of likes coming through and please 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 don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can keep notified of all this content that's coming through for the two point hospital and i shall see you on the next episode bye for now